Hello everybody, hope you're well. As you've seen from the intro, this video is about an anchor power unit. And on the box they put the Wells number one mobile charging brand. And that's right, because these people at Anchor have been around for a long, long time. They've made lots of little charging units for phones and laptops and various other things. And they're a really well-established company. And they're well-established and known for the quality of their products. And for a while now they've been starting to make these bigger power units. You may have saw a video a bit back where I looked at one of their bigger units which was on wheels and we dragged it off into the middle of the moors to make a pizza. And we did that to show the ruggedness and the quality of that particular product. If you want to see that I'll put a link up here and you can check that video out. But this is a slightly smaller unit and it still has the same sort of quality build as all Anchor products. So there it is. These have a aluminium frame inside, so they're quite rugged. So if you're into 4x4 in off-roading, or you think this is going to be bounced about in the garage of your camper van, they're a good make for that. They're really robust on the quality of the build. You can't really tell on the video, but if you compare this to some portable power stations, you can automatically see and feel the difference of the quality of them. And they come with a five year guarantee. They have a LIFO 4 battery, so it's one of the top quality batteries inside. And they charge super quick, so this will charge up to 80% within an hour. Um, and also with the LIFO 4 battery, you're guaranteed about 3000 plus cycles. And what we mean by that is it will discharge and charge. You can use it 3000 times before you start to lose some of the capacity of the battery. The unit will still work after that but you'll lose 20% of the capacity of the battery um, after 3000 plus cycles which is about 10 years. It's a good designed unit as well. It's nice and square so it's easy to fit into places and the handles are on the top here and they're easy to hold and quite comfortable to carry. But the advantage of having these on here is you don't have a silly handle on the top like some do. Even a folding handle down can be a bit of a pain. So we do like this type of handle and you can put straps on these to strap it down. So if it's in the back of your camper van, you can actually put straps on it to strap it down to stop it moving, which makes it real secure. The other good design that's really been thought out this is if you're butting this up to something, these are the fans. This is where the air needs to pass through to keep it cool. So these stick out slightly wider to ensure there's enough airspace for the fans to work. And then if you look at the top, it's actually designed to suck the air over the top in and out. So the fans are at one end and it sucks the air through and then circulates it back. So that's quite clever having those on there. That's certainly been well thought out. Two main sockets on there. A car socket to put your cigarette type sock uh, plug in there. You've got a power saving mode, which is useful because this will switch itself off. If it's in power saving mode and you're not using it for a while or you're not running anything, it will switch itself off. It's a very clear display. If you see that flickering on the camera, it's purely the camera. It's not flickering in real life. And it tells you everything you need to know, how much power is going in, how long it'll last, how much power you've got. Nice and simple. This unit doesn't come with an app. Um, but the dis so everything's worked out on the display actually on the front there. USBs, you've got two USB C's, 100 watt and a 60 watt, and then you've got the standard USB A's, there four of them. Many of these power packs come with some sort of light, and it's usually just a little round one. This is a good light, this one. It uh, sort of gives an ambulant light. So if you're around your campfire in a night or it's in the back of your garage or your camper van. It gives a real good light and there's a number of settings. You can't, you can't see it in this light, but uh, there's a low, medium and a high. And then if you press the button down, you get the obligatory flashing SOS signal as well. But it, I like that light on it because if you use this on a night, I'll show you when we get in the cottage. If you use that on a night, it gives a nice light. It's not just like a strong, bright light. The back of the unit, this is where your inputs go. So this is your input for your solar panels and for your car charging. So you can charge it from your car. That's a reset button in case it trips off. And that's where your mains cable goes in. And it doesn't have a power brick. It just plugs straight into there like a normal kettle lead. I'd prefer it not to have this on the back. I'd prefer it to be on the end. 
because if you want to fasten this up to a wall you're losing about this much space but with this lid falling down it gives you the barrier so you can get your cables in and out it would be helpful if this socket for the plug for that goes in here had a 90 degree on it as well but you can buy those separately off amazon and they're just my just picky bits on it if you want to fasten it against a wall if you're not fasten it against the wall sat on your wheel arch in the back of your camper van something like that it's not a problem it's just that with having this on the back you can't put it completely flush there's the back of the box with some more information on there and if you look on there 80 million people worldwide have bought products from anchor it's a fast charging as we say so AC one and a half hours to fully charge if you're using a car charger it's 13.8 uh, hours and solar depending on how much solar you can get into this I think the maximum is 300 watts it'll charge in 4.5 hours and the USBs on that these are the outputs so you've got the 150 watts surge output on the main sockets you've got USB-C's 160 watt um, socket on there and the USB A's and um, there's four of them and they're at 12 watts each and then the car socket on there is 120 watts max so this is what you get in the box you get a comprehensive instruction book this is in a number of languages <laughs> so it's not all in English and to be honest you don't really need that this is your solar charger so you have one connector on there and it goes to three input connectors so you can plug in three separate solar panels into this up to a maximum of 300 watts that's the lead i was on about we call those kettle leads and as you see that sticks out quite a way so if you do have a problem with trying to get this into the back of your van flush against a wall you can buy ones that are 90 degrees so if it's 90 degree angle on it it'll be the same length as the flap on the actual uh, back of the panel also in the box you get this dust uh, water resistant cover so if you want to keep it in the garage or in a shed somewhere this will keep the dirt off it and keep it clean but if you're using it outside it'll keep some of the moisture off as well people do get confused about using these as well so people don't want to some people just don't want to mess about linking them into your wiring system and they just want to use it as a portable unit but they always ask can i just plug my van into it and the simple answer is yes you can buy one of these adapters and this is just an adapter that takes your hookup lead so you plug your hookup lead into there your shore power hookup lead into there and it converts it to a 13 amp plug and you plug this into there and then you switch this on put the ac on and this will take power out of this into your shore power into your camper van your motor room or even your yacht so it can be done and these are cheap again you can buy these off amazon but it's just a simple way if you're camping somewhere and you want a hookup and there's no hookup available you could use a power station like this as your hookup just by using an adapter like this and it's always good to buy lower wattage power equipment so all these products here this is a sandwich maker and a grill a hot pot like an electric pan toaster and this is even a pizza oven and we have an electric kettle as well and all of those most of them are around 800 watts and the pizza ovens about a thousand watts so all of those will run off this unit but not together only one at a time so let's take this back to the cottage and plug it into our off-grid link so we're back in the co cottage and uh, them two as usual have been no use whatsoever and if you've seen my videos before you'll be aware that we have a transfer switch in here that enables us to use a plug here through a transfer box into our main fuse box and power everything off a power unit so we test all our big power units to see how good the inverter is so i'll just plug this one in so that's on so this is the transfer switch so we'll switch the power off on the cottage so everything of the cottage is off now and now we'll transfer it across to the generator so everything is running through this and there's a cable that goes up here into our fuse box and nothing's tripped off which is always a good indication to show the inverter in this is a good quality there's not a lot of things running in the cottage at the moment a few things charging the tv's on 
and it's only using 138 watts and everything at the moment is running off this so that always proves that the inverter in a power unit is good because if it's a bad inverter if the conversion from the battery to ac power is not good the switchboard in our cottage will switch off completely but this has no problems whatsoever so there you have it another great power unit from anchor and as this video comes out there's currently a sale on and you can save thousands of pounds on anchor products so check out the description below and you'll find a lot more information about this and all the offers that are currently available thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one